Unfortunately, you know, it seems to be like we're all, you know, always taking a swing at the referees. But I have to say, that's not... People think when you criticise referees, you're looking at them to be perfect. And we're not. We're just looking at them to be consistent. And we're not getting consistency. And there's been assessors and there's been all sorts of things. And there's been committees set up to change the rules here, change the rules there, leave the rules alone. And the elephant in the room is refereeing. It is not good enough. And I don't care people say it's a hard job. Of course it's a hard job. So is managing, so is playing, so is training the team. All these things are hard jobs. Just because it's a hard job doesn't mean to say it shouldn't be done well. And it has not been done well for the very reason that there's such inconsistency. And, and we don't expect perfection, but we should expect consistency. Because you can't blow one thing in one half and ignore it in the second half, or go give something to one team and the same thing happens to another team and they don't get it. And, you know, they seem to me to be a protected species. I think they're very insular and they're protected from hierarchy in Crow Park. You can't say anything about them. And I don't think they open their minds and their, their experiences enough to other people. You could be constructive in your criticism if you had got a chance to do that. But you don't get a chance to do that. Because they just, they're self-monitored. They look after all their own affairs and you can't say anything about it. And nobody will tell me that the standard is better because of all the assessment that's going on. Because it's not. And I'm looking at that week in, week out. I would love to see just referees coming out and being totally consistent and uh, not not just blowing with the wind as often happens. And, and I wish they'd leave the rules alone because that's part of the problem. They're changing the rules so often. And somebody's attempting to make 10 or 11 changes in the rules in one go. Where are we going? Like, you know, what is going on? And how is it that all these changes have been mooted when the game was never as popular as it is now? And every other sporting organisation, you think it'd be a total crisis if uh, what was going on in the GA because there's so much change dis demanded from certain quarters. But the, dem the demands for change are coming from a very few, not from the, the majority of people. The majority of people that I talked to in the GA world are quite happy with the rules and regulations of the game, so I wish they'd leave it alone. So where does that tell you, referee, and mean something? <laughs> I'd just like to say that... I think the referees are doing an absolutely brilliant job. <laughs> and, and Barry Cassidy, who's referee in the game on Saturday night v. Tyrone, is one of the best in the country <laughs> and rarely makes a mistake.